everyone, today we want to talk about potty training and want to give you six tips that help me and my parents to potty train me very easily. I moved in with my parents when I was eight weeks old, so I wasn't potty trained at all. And I'm 14 weeks old now and the potty training is going very well. I don't really tell my parents when I have to go outside to take a pee or poo. But most of the time my parents really notice, so they take me outside and that's working very well for us. And so now we're gonna share the six tips that help us the most. And the last tip was a really a game changer that my parents could sleep much better through the night. So make sure to watch the video until the end. So tip number one is to use a crate. A crate is super important for the nights because then I can just sleep in my crate and it's kind of tiny and small and I don't want to pee in my own bed of course so I'm like whining in order for my mom to take me outside to go potty and that worked very well and in the beginning my parents used positive association so they fed me in the crate so that I would feel very very comfortable in it and now I feel like it's my little cave and I just love it and I always sleep in my crate from the first night on and in the beginning, my parents took me out at like 12 a.m., at 2 a.m., at 4 a.m., and then we were starting our day at 6 a.m. So they had to take me out three times during the night in the first one or two weeks when they got me. That was very stressful. But also like this, we had no accidents during the night, and I could just sleep in there, and that worked out so well for us. And also sometimes my parents used my crate throughout the day so I know that I can sleep in there and I can rest in there. And then when I'm waking up, they always just like put on their shoes and then get me out of my crate and take me out potty right away. So the crate really, really is a game changer for potty training. And if you're looking for a crate as well, we linked the one we used in the description box so you can check it out there. Tip number two is that my parents always go outside with me after sleep, after food, after play, and after excitement. So always when I have food, my parents can literally check out the clock and literally I have to go like max five minutes after, sometimes even faster, because my bladder is so small, so the food in my belly really just like <laughs> makes me go pee. And so they always take me outside right after I've been fed but also after I had a nap. So when I sleep in my crate, my parents just get ready and take me outside then. But also when I wake up from a nap after I slept on the lap or something. Tip number three is don't think, oh, my puppy was just outside 30 or 45 minutes again. She really cannot go again because that's really just like too realistic thinking because sometimes I've been like 45 minutes ago and then I really tell my parents the signs that I have to go potty or they see the signs and they think like, oh, it can't be that she has to go potty again because she just went, but I do have to go again because my bladder is so small and also sometimes time just passes faster than you think. And tip number four kind of relates to that. So you can really learn the signs for when your puppy needs to go outside. And it's just like some signs that I show. It's kind of the way of walking. I sniff on the floor more. I'm walking very, very slowly because I'm just like searching for a good place in the whole room. And then my parents realize, oh yeah, she has to go potty. And for me, it's also a sign when I leave the room and just like leave my parents alone because I would never do that voluntarily. But that's when I look for a spot in another room because I don't want my parents to see that I'm going potty inside of our house. So that's also a good sign to look out for. Tip number five is to have a list with notes when your dog last pooped. And for my parents, it was more difficult to keep track of me pooping than keeping track of me peeing because it's not that many times throughout the day and it's harder to tell when I have to go. So my parents just made a shared note and put the different times in there. And then you can really see sometimes it's really around the same time as the day before. So that makes it easier to keep track and it just gives a rough indication as to when I could go outside to potentially poo again and sometimes it's more throughout the day and sometimes it's less throughout the day but it just helped us to give an indication 
And tip number six, we promised that that's a game changer tip. At least that's how it was for us. And it helped my parents to sleep through the night faster because after 8 p.m. I do not get any access to water anymore. And for us, that's two to three hours before bedtime. So we usually go to bed around 10 or 11 p.m. And that means that I can pee again before going to bed. And that really helped us sleep through the night faster because right now I can already sleep until like 6.30 a.m. And for me as a dog, as a puppy, I have a really small bladder. So if I would drink something again at like 9 or 10 p.m., I could never sleep through the night. And my parents just make sure that I don't get anything to eat anymore after like 6.30 p.m. So no more chewing on like dry bones or no more dry food, which would make me very thirsty. And then I can drink again at like 8 p.m. And then I don't get any access to water anymore. And that really helped us a lot. So these were the six tips that helped us with potty training. And we really, really hope that they would help you as well. And if you have any other tips, just leave a comment. And we can exchange our tips in the comment section. And watch out for our next video and subscribe to my channel. Because in the next video, we're going to tell you about my first vacation to the Baltic Sea.